Yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all already know what it is. How y'all doing today? Y'all now tuned in to A Real Talk Podcast. I want to apologize for missing yesterday's episode, but you know, life happens. What more can I say? I ain't going to make no excuses. Had a situation that came up, had to take care of it. Apologize for that. Anyway, y'all know y'all tuned in, like I said, the A Real Talk Podcast. This is Tuesday's episode. As y'all see, the title is Journalism is Dead. You know you're listening to Stacks with the Facts, a.k.a. Virgil Berry, bringing y'all the information the lamestream won't. And talking about, let's get into it. Journalism is dead. I say that because it is. You know, recently over the weekend, Julian Assange, co-founder of WikiLeaks, he had a court appearance to talk about him possibly being released, right? And when he went to his court appearance, he was looking disheveled. He was looking gaunt, emaciated, as if he hasn't been eating or getting sunlight. And not to mention reports from people who interact with Julian said that, you know, people like Ray McGovern, people like Paul Craig Roberts, you know, people who interact with Julian Assange and, and, and communicate with him said that he his mental state is not in the best shape right now. Journalism is fucking dead, and I'm going to tell y'all why it's dead, man. Because these so-called journalists got the nerve to call themselves journalist presenters. I ain't going to name none of them. Rachel Maddow, Sean Hannity, over there in the United Kingdom. Kate, uh, Kate Burley. Kate Burley. You know I'm talking about uh, Andrew Marr looking, my, you know what I mean? They ain't nothing but talking heads that... Only thing they doing is pushing the narrative. They don't ask no questions. They don't ask no challenging questions. They don't have people who are in positions to speak on certain things and give a totally different view from the narrative. They don't ever allow these people on their shows. Now, with Julian Assange, I'm going to say this. I don't totally agree with everything Julian Assange does. I don't totally agree with everything that WikiLeaks and Julian Assange represents. I'm going to say that off top. Of course I don't. You know, but what I will say is that what Julian Assange and WikiLeaks did definitely was in the it was in the interest of the public globally to know that the American military is a criminal organization. That is definitely for the world's population. The popular that is definitely important information that we need to know about. So what does that say for the rest of us journalists? If Julian Assange, now mind y'all, Julian Assange has not broken any laws. Uh, Julian Assange cannot or by ethics or even by law cannot be charged with treason for divulging American sensitive information because <laughs> he's for one, he's not an American citizen. So he literally cannot be tried with treason. He's not a citizen Two, the information that he divulged was in the public. Like I said, it was in the public interest to know that information and three, over there in Switzerland, he did not break the law because those trumped up assault, sexual assault charges were dismissed. So we got to take a look at Julian Assange in this situation and what this means for ma for journalism and what this means for the mainstream media. All you journalists out there, all y'all so-called journalists out there, your Sean Hannity's and your Chris Hardballs and all Hardball and Hart, all them, right? Chris Matthews and all y'all, right? What does this say for y'all, man? This is letting us know that you can be completely criminalized and vilified for simply doing your natural human duty. And you can have criminal charges, or should I say, you can be criminally against your will, enslaved by governments simply because you are telling the secrets that they don't want nobody to know about that's exposing them for being the criminals that they are. Imagine the the message that this is sending to independent content creators and citizen journalists, investigative journalists worldwide. Now we got to be walking on eggshells. 
Now we got to be worried about the, the Gestapo scanning and gleaning our social media and email accounts to see what we talking about. This is 1984, y'all. This is the thought police. This is Newspeak. This is the Ministry of Truth being established. When a person can be in prison and jailed merely for divulging facts on a government to expose them for criminal behavior and activity that is in the public interest of the whole entire world to know, you can be thrown in jail against your will for doing that now. So what is that telling everybody around the world? Anybody like me wish the day would ever come fuck out of here. People like me and other around the world, independent content creators, citizen journalists, that's putting the message out that, oh, if y'all try to expose what we got going on, this is what can happen to you. Now, I take my hat off to Julian Assange because I don't know. I can just imagine what's going on in that man's mind right now. But I'm going to tell you like this. Try it with me. Try it with me. And this ain't no tough guy talk. This is facts, man. Try it with me. I will not be silenced. I will not be deterred. I will not be intimidated. And I will speak the truth to power according to the facts. And I don't give a damn how anybody feel about it. This, this subject gets under my skin because I see where this is going. This is the annihilation. This is the deletion, the complete and total destruction of freedom of speech, uh, more so our freedom to think. This is thought crime, y'all. I'm saying if, 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 if we allow the American government, if he even makes it over here to get extradited, if he doesn't die from physical abuse that he is being subject to over there in that prison he held in in the United Kingdom, if he, if he doesn't survive that, right, Let's hope he do. Let's hope he survives that. If he survives and they somehow extradite him over here to America, I'm telling you, if he gets extradited to America, he will be executed. I'm telling you that right now. So they got his lawyers and his, his, his team is talking to the Australian government, trying to get them to, you know, have exercise some diplomatic power with the American government. Right? This is crazy, y'all. This is insane. And this is going to be a topic that we're going to be talking about on Aero Talk Podcast over and over again because this is my fruit. You know, this is my, my, my meat and potato. This is my bread and butter. I love this. I love talking to people and sharing this information. But one thing I'm going to tell y'all right now in this journey going into this situation 2020, I refuse to be silent, like I said, or be silenced. I will not be censored. I will not self-censor. I will display the facts and speak truth to power. I will not be biased in any way. I will present both sides of any argument, situation, topic that I bring to y'all information. And that's if the opposition got the courage and the balls to come and defend what they talk about. Because what I come to find is that when you want to talk to these people about these situations to provide the opposite argument due to their career field, due to their reputation, right, or whatever, they refuse to engage in a debate. So, you know, look for look forward to that in the future as censorship and the freedom of speech gets more and more deleted. You're going to see a lot of punk ass so-called journalists kowtowing out and curtailing out just so they can keep getting a paycheck. And that's the thing about it being independent. We ain't got to answer to nobody. I don't answer to no corporate nothing because I run everything. I'm the chief cook and bottle washer at A Real Talk Podcast, just like my man Richie Allen say. But be on the lookout for what's coming in 2020 and beyond. They're going to make it to where us as content creators have to get licensures. We have to get licensed and bonded to be able to broadcast over the airwaves like Fox and CNN and, and HLN and all them have to do. See, they're trying to squeeze us out. They're trying to call us conspiracy theories, mm -hmm. theorists 
and come up with all these guidelines, YouTube, Google, huh, Facebook, telling us we got to abide by these guidelines so we don't say offensive or discriminatory things, shadow banning, ghost banning, straight deleting people. Y'all see what happened to Farrakhan and Alex Jones last year? Oh, not to mention Richie Allen, Maria Heller, David Icke, Max Egan, and the list goes on. People being straight deleted off of the internet. This is what we call non-persons. This is the non-person ideology, the non-person term out of George Orwell's 1984. Now we getting into 1984 for real. We got the memory hole going on right now with the shadow banning and the ghost banning and the removing of people from the internet. We got the new speak going on with the changing of the language and switching up the words and telling people what they can and can't say due to these little micro mini uh, victim groups like the LGBTQ and the motherfucking transgenders and what have you, right? We got the telescreens with the smartphones and the smart TVs where we're being monitored and surveilled 24 seven. Huh? We have the crime think where it has now become criminal to express certain views and thoughts because other people may be fucking offended by it. 1984 is here, y'all. And y'all can rest assured that stacks with the facts ain't gonna let up. I ain't letting up no time soon in no form or fashion. I'm gonna keep bringing y'all with the facts. Keep hitting y'all with the info that the lamestream media just ain't gonna tell you. They just not. And we're gonna have guests on A Real Talk podcast who's gonna be people who were in places and positions, worked in certain places, fields of study, who are intelligent people with experience and can speak on these things and give you information outside of what you're hearing that's manipulating you to go along with the narrative. And like I say, I'm gonna present both sides if the opposite has the courage and balls to show up and defend it and let you decide what you make of the situation. Instead of telling you that you gotta believe this, that you must do this, you have to go along with this. If you don't, you're a racist, you're a bigot, and you're this and you're that. Like, it just gets on my nerves when people say stuff like, if you don't agree that Trump is a racist, then you're a racist. Get the fuck out of here, man. Anyway, that's gonna be another topic, another podcast, y'all, right? But we gotta stand up and we gotta speak out. You're going to write a letter to your legislature. Protest in any way you can. Spread the word out. If we allow these people to convict Julian Assange of anything, because he's not guilty of anything. He has not broken any laws in any country. If we allow these people to assassinate this man, murder this man, we might as well hold our hands up and tell them put the cuffs on us right now. Because journalism is dead. I'll tell you right now. So, you know, like I always say, man, what is we going to do? What is you going to do? Who's going to speak for you when everybody who you ridicule, vilify, condemn is gone or in prison or censored or silenced? Huh? Or will you be the one to have the courage to stick your chest out like Julian Assange and put your life on the line to share information? You may come across due to your context and who you are in concert with. Ask yourself that question. You already know what it is, man. We winding down to the end of the show. This is a real talk podcast. You know, your boy stacks with the facts. Virgil Berry government name, man. Y'all can get with me. Instagram at Berry dot Virgil, all lowercase letters. Y'all can get with me on Facebook. Just type in Virgil Berry. Y'all going to see me. Signing bright with that Benny the Butcher fitted on, unfitted on, or y'all can get with me on Insta on Twitter at capital B E R R Y, the number two capital V I R G I L. You know, we got to keep this stuff going, and I am, and like I always tell y'all, always remember this don't ever believe anything I say, question everything. More importantly, the stuff you hear me say. And do your own research and find out what's going on for yourself. You know, man, peace out 100. Take care of yourself.
Don't fall for it, y'all, man. Do your own information. Do your own research and investigations, man. 100. Y'all be easy.